welcome back to the channel. It's Friday, so it's Return to Collecting Top 50 of All Time Countdown. Today we're going to do number 32. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, so number 32 on the Return to Collecting Top 50 of All Time Countdown is Mr. Johnny Bench. Here's his 1976 Tops card. I think this one is kind of one of the coolest looking cards um, of all time. He looks pissed. I love the dust kind of kicked up around him. I just think this is a great looking card from a really great set. There's the back of that guy. And then we've got his rookie card, 68 tops. Second best rookie card from that set after the Ryan, in my opinion. Um, got this one in a PSA 8. And there's the back of that. And then we've got the signed baseball. It's got a pretty cool signature. I like it. All right. John Lee Bench was born on December 7th, 1947 in Oklahoma City. His father taught him to be a catcher at a young age. His father told him the fastest route to the majors is, is as a catcher. So that's where the focus was. Bench played baseball and basketball in high school. He was also valedictorian in his class. At 17 years old, Bench was drafted by the Cincinnati Reds. Bench would go on to play his entire career for the Reds. As a rookie in 1967, he didn't hit very well, but he was very impressive defensively. Ted Williams predicted at the time that Bench would be a Hall of Famer for sure. As a cocky 18-year-old, Bench was catching a spring training game for Jim Maloney. He kept shaking off Bench's signs for breaking balls because Bench didn't think his fastball was working. Finally, Bench told him that the fastball wasn't popping today. Maloney told him to F off. Bench did the only reasonable thing an 18-year-old catcher should do to a seasoned pitcher. He gave the sign for a fastball. When he pitched it, Bench took off his glove and caught the fastball barehanded to prove a point. Maloney stopped shaking him off. On April 30th, Maloney pitched a no-hitter against the Astros based on Bench's pitch calling. Bench went on to be a key component for the dominant Big Red Machine of the 1970s and is considered by many to be the greatest catcher in MLB history. His accolades include two-time MVP winner, Rookie of the Year. He was the first catcher to win the Rookie of the Year award. 14-time All-Star. He has 10 Golden Gloves. He was Major League Player of the Year. He won four National League pennants. He's a two-time World Series champ. He's a World Series MVP in 1976. He went 8 for 15. During the series, he had a double, a triple, and in game four, he had two home runs. He had overall six RBIs and batted 533 for the series. They swept the Yankees. His seasonal performance includes leading the league in home runs twice and RBIs three times. For his career, he had 1,091 runs scored, sixth all-time by a catcher, 2,048 hits, 389 home runs, third all-time by a catcher, 1,376 RBIs, fourth all-time by a catcher a 990 fielding percentage, and 43.4% caught stealing percentage. Bench had both the defensive numbers and the offensive numbers to back the position that he is the greatest catcher in MLB history. Some catchers may, may have had better offensive numbers but couldn't touch Bench's defense. Very few had better defensive skills, but the ones that did couldn't hit like he could. Bench was elected to the Hall of Fame in 1989 with 96% of the vote. At the time of his election, he was the third highest vote total of all time after only Ty Cobb and Hank Aaron. Bench had some great quotes, including, A catcher and his body are like the outlaw on his horse. He's got to ride that nag till it drops. I can throw out any man alive. Hitting slumps are like sleeping in a soft bed, easy to get into and hard to get out of. And to follow up on the previous bed quote, I've seldom seen a horny player walk into a bar and not let out exactly what he did for a living. I'm sure that'd be a great icebreaker. Hi, I'm Johnny Bench, the greatest catcher of all time. Nice to meet you. Not too bad. We'll close this episode out with some quotes about Bench. Every time Bench throws, somebody in baseball drools. Harry Dalton. His buddy Jim Maloney said, He'll come out to the mound and treat me like a two-year-old, but so help me, I like it. And good old Sparky Anderson says, I don't want to embarrass any other catcher by comparing him to Johnny Bench. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed number 32, Mr. Johnny Bench. Um, hope you like the cards and the uh, the autograph ball, as well as the information about him and why I think he uh, deserves to spot at number 32 as the all-time greatest catcher. 
Um, if you're subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed and you like the video, please subscribe. All right, thanks.